So you're new to 3D printing and you don't know what printer to get. Or maybe you just want to pick up another printer that prints great, fantastic results at a really low price. Let me tell you all about the Ender 2. Hey everyone, it's Jason here at 3D Matter Makers and about a month and a half ago I decided I wanted to get into 3D printing. Being the personality type I am, I spent the next two to three weeks researching everything I could possibly find on 3D printing. I watched every YouTube video I could possibly come across on reviews for printers, how to print, tips and tricks, but primarily I was really looking at the 3D printers. I watched everyone from Joel at 3D Printing Nerd and Angus over at Makers Muse, RC Life On, a, a lot of fantastic, fantastic resources out there for 3D printing knowledge. I personally knew what I wanted. I knew that I wanted a decent sized build volume. I knew that I'd really like to have dual extruders, although it wasn't necessary. And I knew what kind of things that I ultimately wanted to be able to print. So for me, going through all the printers was really becoming a headache because there are so many choices out there now. 3D printing is exploding and there are so many companies coming out with great printers and crap printers too. And going through and trying to figure out which one you want to get, especially on your first purchase, can be a nightmare to figure out. I spent so much time going back and forth between I know I want this printer. Oh wait, I saw this review. Now I know I want this printer. I went back and forth between printers a billion times. Most people will tell you if you want a simple printer that will give you a great experience on your first run, then look no further than the Mark III Prusa or even the Mark IIs. You know, Prusa, Joseph Prusa, those are great, fantastic printers. They're very easy to put together and the, the print quality on them is phenomenal and the ease of use and the community support on them is absolutely fantastic. But some people don't want to spend $500 to $800 or even $1,000 for a fully assembled printer. Some people want to actually pick up something under the $500 mark just to figure out A, if they're even going to like it, or B, they want to buy something to get started with knowing that they're going to upgrade later. But you don't want to buy something that you're just going to set in the side and put it and let collect dust later on. So ultimately, I decided that I wanted to buy the FormBot T Rex 2 Plus. So I decided to call Tiny Machines 3D and I talked to a guy named Chris there. And I explained to him all the different printers that I was looking at and also all the different reasons that I wanted to print and all the things I was planning on. He actually veered me away from buying the T-Rex 2 as my initial printer and advised me to buy the FormBot Raptor, which I ordered. I ordered the FormBot Raptor along with Simplify 3D and, but I also ordered these at the beginning of February here in 2018 during the Chinese New Year. So I knew there was going to be a lot of time that I was going to have to wait for the New Year to end four weeks later and then to ship from China to get into Tiny Machines 3D and then to ship out to me. So Chris actually suggested that maybe I should look at picking up an Ender 2 to work with and learn how to do printing in the meantime. I decided, you know, $215, sure, why not? I'll go ahead and pick it up. At the very least, I'll have another printer to work with. And I had it on my doorstep the next day. It took about an hour to assemble this printer. And I'm going to tell you right now, you hear this in a lot of reviews. The directions are crap. The directions suck, they suck, they suck. The video, the video is great if you want to stop at every three seconds and try to figure out how to zoom in on what he's doing. If you want to look at the directions that come on the paper, well, those are pretty much useless. You might be able to use those to help you follow along with the video a little bit. And then you could just go to a Facebook group or a, or a support group of some sort and see if you can get some help if you can't figure something out. But using the video along with the instructions, you can pretty much assemble this thing in an hour. If you've had experience assembling printers, then you should have this thing done in 35 to 45 minutes flat, no problem. So I got this thing assembled and I decided to run off the test print that comes on the card. The test print is a cat. So the cat is perfect. If you're wondering why there's a different color right here on the head, it's because the stock brown filament that came with it I actually ran out of and I had to shove in this hatchbox copper filament that I had bought uh, to finish off the print. So 
Having done that and it came out so well, I decided to do what everybody does to stress test their printer. The Benchy. This Benchy came out fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I have not modified this. I have not cleaned this. This is exactly how it came. Then I decided I wanted to print something larger. So I took this dragon head and scaled it up by about 150%. And this is what I came up with. Beautiful print. Absolutely fantastic. Came out clean. And this is Matter Hacker's purple PLA, by the way. Matter Hacker's is probably one of my favorite filaments. So then I decided I wanted to see if I could print something that was really difficult. So I did this, the ver, whatever it's called, skull, Verona or Verana or whatever it is. And this is in a, uh, a pearl PLA. And again, absolutely fantastic. The results are great. Then I decided I needed to print something for my wife so she wouldn't get mad at me. This light tower came out absolutely fantastic. Perfect detail down to the you know, down to 0.2 millimeter, absolutely beautiful, not a flaw in this whole thing, no skips, no nothing. And now I'm getting into designing my own kind of things like this dead hand Yeti cup holder that I worked on. And I'm doing these designs in, in uh, Fusion 360, and then I'm taking them into Mesh Mixer to clean them up and then simplify 3D. So again, if you're looking for a fantastic printer to get you started, inexpensive, you know it's going to print great results and there's a great Facebook community behind to help you with them, then go with the Creality Ender 2. The, the Ender 2 is a fantastic printer to get. It's, it's a great workhorse. It's not the kind of printer that you're going to get and say, oh, I'm going to learn how to use this and then two months later you're going to get a new printer in and put this thing in the closet and let it collect dust because it prints great. You will be able to use this constantly to print off all the small things you need to get done. So my advice my suggestion and this is my opinion there are lots of great printers out there do not get me wrong I am not bashing or dissing other printers there are crap printers out there but I'm gonna tell you the Ender 2 is a fantastic printer to get if you a are getting into printing or B just want an inexpensive workhorse printer if y'all like this video please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you want some notifications on when we go live. We are going to be doing reviews on a weekly basis. Um, I, I do have the Zone Star printer coming in. I have the Formbot Raptor printer coming in. We'll be also reviewing different kinds of filaments. We'll be doing tips and tricks on different types of techniques as I'm learning them on Fusion 360 and Mesh Mixer. I'll be sharing different little tips and tricks in Simplify 3D to help you with supports and rafts and all those other great things. So again, Make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you next week.